Alright, what's going on everybody? Welcome back. So, here's the car. It's finally in my garage after I don't know how long it's been, 22, 23 months. It's finally here. Um, I'm going to give you guys a walk around of the car. We're going to talk about it a little bit. And then I will tell you um, what the plans are and we will go from there. So for you guys that are new to the channel, I'm going to give you a quick rundown on everything that's going on here. So this is a 1996 Honda Integra Type R. Um, I got it from Japan um, about maybe a few weeks ago and it's been sitting in my garage because I can't get plates for it at the moment because the DMV is giving me a hard time. But I'll make a separate video on that so you guys will know what to do when it comes time to register a car from overseas. But this car is going to be the new face of the channel. And um, I'm gonna tell you a little bit about it and then I'll do a walk around. So let me stand back here so you guys can just see it all in one shot. Um, there you go. Wow. Okay. <laughs> so this car is completely stock. The only thing that's aftermarket on this vehicle is the radio, which I'll show you in a second. Um, and the gas cap is a Nissan gas cap. It's not even Honda, <laughs> but everything is OEM. And the reason why I did it this way is because I want to do a restoration on a Honda Integra Type R. I want to, I want to re retain its, its original state. I love the way it looks and I don't plan on changing it. I might do some things here and there. Um, but overall, I just, I just want it to stay the way it is. So I got this car originally from HMR Honda and it's based out in Tokyo. So I contacted him and all of the messages were done in Japanese and I told him to send me an invoice for the car uh, and he did. And once I got that, well, I said, okay, well, let me contact Astana Garage Defend uh, because I saw Tommy Effie, I bought a car from him and uh, he offered storage and this car wasn't legal at the time when I bought it back in March of 2019. Uh, so I said, um, hey, can you buy this car for me? And he said, well, of course, of course I can buy it. <laughs> so uh, we made that happen. And uh, I already saw a complete walk around of the car, which is very rare. Um, usually when you buy cars from Japan, um, you only see pictures. But pictures do not do a car justice. You actually have to see the video if you want to see things up close. So I'm going to show you guys some things up close of this car, um, especially the things that were pointed out in the video. Um, and um, I'm going to talk about how I'm going to fix them or if I'm just going to leave them as is. Okay, so this car was detailed and cleaned right before it left um, for the uh, port. Uh, and it sat outside for a little bit and then it sat on the ship for a whole month and some change. So it's a little dirty now. If I probably rub my finger on it. Well, you guys can't see that, but there's a little bit of, little bit of debris, a little bit of dust. Um, so I'm going to have to wash this car down all again completely. Um, but I'm going to give you guys a, a slow walk around. Actually, I'll do a little fast walk around of the car so you guys can see some of the imperfections of this. And um, we're going to talk about how we're going to fix them. But that's what the video is going to be about. So first up, this badge is like completely, <laughs> completely worn. And, um, you know, it's 25 years old. And this car actually, I can tell, was a daily driver because uh, the owner had... <laughs> Had this, uh, had this phone holder, which had a, a really aggressive adhesive that I really struggled to get off. Um, so he had this, and then he had a GPS, which is right here, mounted where the clock or where the clock is. Um, and this also has a really strong adhesive that I'm still working to get off. So that was another thing. Definitely going to get new emblems because that looks terrible. I hate it. Um, there's a mark right here that you can see. It's, um, this is actually just a watermark it looks like from when it was sitting outside in the rain at the port of Baltimore. This is actually a nick from somewhere. I don't remember this being anywhere actually because this didn't exist when the car was in Japan. So this must have happened in the shipment process somehow. That's unacceptable, guys. This was originally there from, from when I bought the car 
back when it was at HMR Honda. Probably gonna fix that, it's no issue. Definitely gonna get all those words off today with some knockoff goo gone, called something like goof off or something, I don't know. This was also original to the car, another scrape. Nothing too major, honestly, like it's really not that bad. Um, it looks like it could easily, actually no, this, this right here, hold on. That actually looks kind of bad. Hmm. We could definitely do some sanding work here. Maybe, yeah, this this will come out. It'll come out. That's no biggie. Um, there's really not that many imperfections in this car. It's like really crazy. So I, I really want to restore these wheels somehow, but I don't know. I don't know if I can do that. Um, the stickers not looking good. 25 year old stickers, these must be original to the car. Lucky for me, I got stickers in the back on standby. So we're gonna tackle that in a later video. The wheel's also bad. So the thing about 96 spec Integra Type R's is that the, the rotors and some of, I think that's the only thing that's not compatible. The rotors and the door panels and the dash are the only thing that are the only things that are not interchangeable, but these rear rotors you cannot buy in the States because it's four by 114.3. So um, I might have to order these from Japan, which would suck. The front ones, however, are, I can get off of a 92 to 96 Prelude, so that's good. The brakes are also completely worn, not metal to metal, but like probably that much left, so not the greatest. Also, the wheels, Mm, not not curb rash, not too much curb rash, but the front, that one was the worst out of all of them. Um, the top of this spoiler is very bad. It's very bad. I think this is the worst part of the car, actually. And I'm sure you can see that. It, it actually feels gritty. When I, when I run my hand over top of this, it feels gritty. All right there. And it wasn't like that when I first bought the car, because that was one of the first things I wanted to touch because I saw it in the video and I was like, oh, okay, it's not that bad. So the 22 months that it sat outside, this must have gotten worse. There's also no rear, oh, look at that. Look at all that dust, Whee! <laughs> so there's no rear third brake light and there's no rear wiper. That's awesome. Um, coming around here, there's some JDM bird poop. That's always nice, right? Gotta clean that off. This sticker is a little bit better. It's not what I like to see, but at least it, you know, at least it held up over time. But, you know, these things aren't meant to last and, you know, I understand that, so. Now it's time to show you guys what's under the hood. So what you're looking at is a completely stock Integra Type R engine. No ABS, there is AC, and there is power steering. No cruise control, I love it. So this was another reason why I bought this car. But like everything is pretty clean. The valve cover is intact. When I saw that this valve cover didn't have any chips in it, well, aside from these, but you know, what can you do? I was mainly worried about seeing chips all right here because I don't like replacing these. I just don't, I just want to buy one and just have it look nice. And it's wrinkle red, it's lo I love it. So there's really no evidence of anything leaking. Like everything is, <laughs> everything is just so clean. And this is why I wanted to buy this car. And it's got the little, the little JDM battery, which doesn't like to start. Um, I had to I have to keep jump starting this thing. I'll make a video on what happened at the port with this thing later So I really won't have to do too much work in the engine bay aside from maybe just giving it a quick wipe down now moving on to the interior, okay, so now we're in the interior of the car and honestly like <laughs> It looks really good um, this was another part that I really wanted to uh, talk about because, you know, the car, this is where I spend most of the time, in, in here. So I had to make sure that this car was clean. Now, there are some things that are bad about this car, but you have to remember, for the price that I paid for this car, which I will not be talking in this video about, by the way, I'll talk about that in a future video when I do a complete breakdown of what I paid for the car, but 
when you understand how much I paid for this car and what they're going for now, you'll start to understand why it looks the way it does. But don't worry, I will be fixing a lot of the stuff in here because, well, I don't like it. I think the worst thing about this whole entire car is the steering wheel. Whoever owned it previously before me must have uh, never changed the stock shifter. I mean, I'm sorry, the stock steering wheel. So this is the must be the original steering wheel, and it looks like he did a shoddy job at trying to, uh, like, reupholster this. And because of that, and he must have did it a long time ago because there's a bunch of wrinkles in it, and it just looks really bad. Especially, I think this is the, the worst part right here. This part irritates me so much that I was going to buy another one of these from the Yahoo Auctions, um, but it ended up selling for like 230 bucks, and that's not including the shipping, which would have probably been another 100 to 200 bucks, so like $400 for a steering wheel. And I just said to myself, well, if I ever do sell this car, or if I ever do want another steering wheel, uh, I'll probably just stay with this because, I mean, it's OEM and, uh, <laughs> you know, I don't really want an aftermarket wheel and have to go through all of that. But that's, that's just this. And the horn works, by the way. Next thing is the mileage. So the mileage has 171,000 kilometers on it. I mean, that's like 106,000 miles. Um, you know, I could have, I definitely could have gotten, uh, you know, cars. I was looking at cars with like uh, 59,000 kilometers, 70,000 kilometers, but they all had aftermarket stuff on the car. And I just did not want to replace it because that. It, it just gets really expensive at that point to bring it back to stock. And, you know, I just want to buy a stock car. Also, this is another amazing feature about this car. So if I turn it on, also, which is weird, I don't have to use the clutch to turn the car on. Are all JDM Integra's like that? Yeah, that's because of the battery. It just doesn't like, to, doesn't like to start for some reason. But if you press this switch, he did, this is some custom work the guy did. If you press this switch, the antenna starts to go up and you probably can't see it wait why isn't it working right now uh oh <laughs> well <laughs> well it does work it just you know we're having some technical difficulties right now with it but it does work uh, but that was some custom work he did. I guess you have to wait until the car warms up or whatever, which is, doesn't make any sense to me, but you know. Anyways, moving on. <laughs> uh, this is the radio that he had put in, which I'm glad he did because I can't stand stock radios. I hate having to replace them. So thank you, Japanese dude, Mr. Nakazawa, thank you. Um, this, well, yeah, I know guys. I didn't realize this until, um, well, until I did a pull in the car, and um, that was about a few days ago, and I realized that this came out, and I was just like, oh man, I gotta fix this. No biggie, not, not the end of the world. Uh, the glove box works, and there was this thing, this cup holder, which was put, it, put in right here, and um, so this, is probably, this has probably been broken for a while, and he just used this as a cup holder. Look at that, <laughs> it extends, that's kinda cool. It's also funny because custom says you're not supposed to carry anything in this car at all, but they clearly didn't check the glove box for this. So I could have stored stuff in the glove box and they would have never known. Also, this doesn't close right. You have to like open it to close it. That's weird. Um, the door handles. Well, I mean, the door panel looks good. There's like a, like a seam right here that's kind of buckling, but the handles are faded. The shift or the um, seat belt clips are starting to fade uh, so on this side same thing looks good but it's just there's just this crack right here that you know doesn't look good and it's faded so that I mean that's really that's really it I got the type R key which is nice I've always wanted that but I mean everything is nice and there's a clock uh, like a clock block off plate I believe it's called so that's cool I always wanted one of those I don't have to talk about the rear because the rear is completely flawless, as you guys know. Integra's nobody ever goes back there. But this is also another terrible part. So remember that, uh, remember that GPS thing I was talking about? Yeah, this is the adhesive that I tried to get off, and uh, it didn't go so well. Yeah, this somehow has to go away. I'm gonna try to use Goo Gone and try to get rid of it, um, but 
Yeah, this is awful and has to has to go. The other thing was right here. I don't know if you can see the indentation. You can probably see it now where the indentation was for the phone holder, phone mount. I hope that kind of slowly goes away when I start to wipe it down. But that uh, was pretty much everything about the Integra. That was, that was everything I wanted to talk about. All right, so here's where I'm gonna end the video. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this nice little walk around that I did of the car. Um, I want to make more videos on this later in the future, and I will. It's just the DMV is giving me some issues right now over some nonsense that I just can't believe that they're even doing to me. Um, actually, I think it's honestly just kind of unfair at this point. But it's, anyways, that's that's a that's a whole nother video for another day because I had a nice experience in there with someone else. But um, yeah, that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you in a few days with the next video.